Hello, I'm Jordan, you're not, and this is my review on The Sacrament, written and directed by Ty West and produced by Eli Roth, who recently released his new movie, The Green Inferno, which isn't playing here. That pisses me the crap off. That ruins my whole day. I want to write my congressman about that. I really wanted to see it, and it's not playing in my theater. It's bullshit. Okay, so anyway. The Sacrament's probably one of the better of... One of the probably one of the best uh, recent religious cult movies that you'll probably see. It sort of kind of reminded me of the the cult segment from VHS 2, but this doesn't have the uh, demon baby at the end. It's you know it's set like in real it's realistic you know this could probably happen if you're you know like one of those, uh, in fact it's sort of based on this. The Jonestown Massacre, I think, was like some back in the 70s where this religious cult like committed mass suicide or something. Similar to that, but like the Hollywood different version of it. Independent. Right. So, this has two people that are in, well, the, what's one guy, his name is, I don't know, Joe or Kentucker or something, or... I don't know, they, two of them were in VHS together or something, or one of them was in Your Next. Or they're, they're both in Your Next together, and one was in VHS, the first VHS. I don't really know too much of these people. All right, so Patrick, the main one of the main characters, receives a letter from his sister Caroline. So, you know, she is supposed to have been, like, a, a junkie, and just she went away to this, Eden Parish to find herself and to get peace from the world or inner peace or peace of mind or something, whatever that, you know. And so Patrick receives a letter from her saying that, you know, she's to come visit her, come hang out with her, come see her, or whatever. So, and they, his friends, uh, Sam and, what was his name, Jake, I think, they, they make, like, documentaries about, you know, all, all the weird, crazy, frenetic stuff that you see, like, out in the jungles and everything like that. So they go over to, where was that? I don't really remember where it was. It's like, it's undis undis undisclosed or where, where, where are you, but the place is called Eden Parish. So, and the whole movie takes place on, it's like a documentary style, like found footage, but you know, it's kind of like that, but it's one of the better found footage movies. I'm usually like nine, t eight times out of 10, I'm against found footage movies, but this one, it was done pretty well. I. I watched it. I actually, I rented it. No, I, I bought it at a video store about a week or so ago when I when I rented like 20 movies. So I bought it. I watched it. I thought, well, oh, that's actually pretty good. So then I made my friend Megan watch it with me last night. So okay. So what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. So they go over there and they think it's this going to be like this, you know, peaceful place. But then there are these guys there. They have guns on them. Because they're going to be, damn it, the government's going to come over there and take their guns! Bruce Everidge. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, at the first they're kind of put off about that, but then, you know, Caroline shows up and she's like, Oh no, this place is great, it's like heaven on earth, it's awesome, let's be pretty. Okay, so, like, the three of them, they kind of walk around, they kind of see, you know, everyone's happy, and all the children, families, you know, Brothers and sisters, moms and dads are all living together in harmony. But the the main guy, like the main one who's running the show, they call him Father. Like you know, like he's like the main religious cult leader or something. In a way, I don't know if you can see or not. But this guy on the back, right here, he looks like a mix of John Goodman and Kim Jong Un. Like Kim Jong Goodman. Or something like that. Yeah. But he didn't look like that in the movie at all. He didn't look like John Goodman. Just like on the way that he's presented on the cover, he just looks like older John Goodman mixed with Kim Jong. So yeah, he they uh, they go around interviewing some of the people that live there. They say it's so great. And then there's this little mute girl. Her name is Savannah, I think. And then she gives them this little letter that says, please help us. That's when shit starts to hit the fan. So then they, uh, Sam, he gives uh, Father an interview 
you know, he kind of, then somehow, for some reason, Father knows that Sam has, like, a, a wife and baby on the way, but they never really explain that. Like, how exactly does he know that? It's, what, does he have Facebook or something that he's hiding in his place somewhere, or just people would see on social media? And then he acts like, oh, the media just twists and lies, and which but they probably do. So Father probably watches a lot of Fox News. So then, the, like the next day, like earlier, late, later that night, Father and some of his people are out in the pavilion, kind of planning, talking about something. And then the, the next day, you see him saying, "Oh, well, they're gonna, they're gonna try to take us away from each other, so we're gonna have to kill ourselves." So they, there's gonna be some spoilers if you haven't seen this yet. And I've, so, if you wanna stop watching now, I'll understand. Just. Give me a thumbs up and like it and tell people about me, but just, yeah. Okay, so this is when it starts to get hella crazy. So Father convinces like upwards to over 100 people to drink this punch that's spiked with poison and arsenic, all, all these different little poisons, and people like, you know, some one guy stood up to him and was like, hey, what are we doing this for? And Father's like, oh, it's okay, we're, we're we're going to the we're going to heaven or something like that. Oh, he he has like a southern accent, but right? you know I'm I'm from Kentucky, but I don't know how to do like a a deep country accent. He talks like this. We're going to heaven. Well, something more like that, but like older and matured, that kind of thing. And then the, you see the moms feeding their kids this stuff and feeding the babies this thing, and then you see all these dead bodies everywhere. It's kind of just disturbing, just a little bit. So we don't know if uh, Sam or Patrick or, what's his name? Oh yeah, Jake. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking Nick. I got Nick on my brain. I don't know why. Okay, so we, have, we, we, have, we don't know if they're going to live or they die, if Father kills them or forces them to, to drink the punch or not, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. I'm going to let you, I'm just going to leave you right there. So do they live or do they die? You got to watch the sacrament. You know, I think I would give this movie a, I'll give it a B plus for now. It was, a, it, it was pretty good for its, you know, religious cult movie kind of thing. You know, it says, a truly haunting piece of horror, frightening and terrific, bone chilling, a gripping thriller filled with tension, dread, and genuine terror, a master class in unsettling chills from West, Ty West. I would, I would agree with that. Yeah, it, it starts off a little slow, like the first 40 minutes you kind of, get to know the people living in Eden Parish, and then that's when things start to get crazy, which I've, I've spoiled for you. Yeah. Watch the movie anyway.